more, okay? The winners this year are Sangu, you might have guessed because I mentioned him a few times. Sangu Dele, uh, Quincy House. <laughs> and uh, where'd David go? There's David. David Stenget. <laughs> Both juniors, right? Yeah, and, uh, and and it's important to acknowledge our, our inaugural winners who are quite important to us and near and dear to our heart. Daryl Finkton. <laughs> also, also Junior in Quincy House. And then Gene Jr. from Lowell House. <laughs> <laughs> Lowell House, yes! Just a couple quick things about all these kids, uh, or uh, students, adults. <laughs> young adults, <laughs> shorties. <laughs> Jean, Jean is uh, a, well, you're, you're a senior now, right? Yeah. She's from Michigan, like myself, sociology and pre-med, is that right? She had this ridiculous uh, nomination letter, like one of the best we've ever, the best we've ever gotten, actually, hands down. It was like three pages, I think the house master wrote it himself and resident dean and tutor signed it. It was like a single space, two and a half page love letter. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, by, she was almost a winner before we even got her, the rest of her application in. Daryl, you know, plays basketball, maintains a phenomenal GPA, does a, a remarkable amount of community service. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I think everything he's done really speaks for itself. And there's more about them on our website, and there'll be more about David and Sango on our website shortly. Um, if I remember correctly, David, you're an engineer, is that right? You're also varsity soccer, is that correct? No. Club soccer. Do they have a varsity team? Yeah, they do. Okay, He's, he plays club soccer, he's quite active, he has a remarkable story, originally from Sierra Leone, is that correct? Went to high school in Belgium? No. I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reporter, y'all, reporter. He's on the cover of the Wall Street Journal today. Right. Just remember that. Just remember that. Yeah, terrible sourcing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of this is I really wanted to get to my punchline, which was that, you know, uh, as I recall, you got all your stuff in on time or very close to it. You got us a photo and a bio immediately. Of course, Daryl and Gene were like uh, completely on top of this. They had a little more time last year. And then, and then Sangu, turned, first of all, he turned the application a little late. You're lucky it was good. <laughs> and then when we asked for a photo, he sent a photo of himself like in a shiny suit, like kind of scowling. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it's a scholarship for black people. <laughs> he was from and so I should have just said you know I think I, I said you know your name like where's your name from and he said oh well my name means like he who you will try to conquer but he is <laughs> and cannot be defeated because he is king of king and <laughs> I was like that is there's no way that two syllable name <laughs> so, I, so I looked it up I looked it up because I already have my own I'm half African myself I'm half American, and I, and I had a, uh, I already had a punchline ready. I was like, I know his name just means born on a Tuesday. <laughs> but I looked up, I looked up a, a, an Ethiopian uh, definition of Sangu, or that happened to come up on Google, and says, <laughs> it's a Abyssinian ox, noted for the great strength of its horns and it, its hump on its back. <laughs> so now I know what your name really means. <laughs> but we're glad to have you. So thanks to everybody for coming. <laughs>